Good morning, New Beginnings. It's me, Pastor Danish House. Today is Wednesday, October 13th, 2021. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to make me part of your life today, and I am delighted that you are part of my life as well. Well, I did not, uh, Monday was, uh, was Columbus Day, so the office was closed and I was off, so I did not record a daily devotional video, and yesterday, um, I was out uh, in the early morning, had to go out and do a bunch of different things to help with Judy, help Judy Parliament with Jerry's uh, funeral. So I was not able to record a video yesterday. So I apologize for that and uh, thank you for your understanding, but that was an important thing that had to be done in the morning. Um, and today is Wednesday. Now, uh, that means that Monday I missed saying that it was Marcy Kolarik's birthday. Tuesday, I, mar I missed saying that it was Christy Russell's birthday. Today, it's Rich McGill Jr.'s birthday. It's, uh, that's Big Rich. Uh, Chelsea Kolarik's birthday. And it's Annie and Lynn Miller's anniversary, Andy and Lynn. Uh, so that's a lot of awesome occasions. It's what, fifth, five occasions. Uh, Marcy's birthday, Christy's birthday, Rich and Chelsea's birthday, and Andy and Lynn's anniversary. Happy birthday, happy anniversary to all of you. We love you so much. God bless you. We hope that you are uh, you're blessed in on your you were blessed on your special day, or you are blessed today on your special day, and that you know that you are loved by God and by us. And of course, uh, that we are wishing you the best, all the best today. Uh, tonight, Wednesday the 13th, we've got Ladies' Evening Bible Study at 6.45 p.m. That's the Galatians Bible Study here at the church. And at 7 o'clock is our Genesis Bible Study, also here at the church. Um, the Genesis Bible Study is also going to be available uh, after the fact. Uh, it was going to be available during the fact on Zoom and after the fact on YouTube. So, um, yeah, those are the things that are happening today. Um, on Sunday, I preached out of Zechariah chapter 8, verses 9 through 19, talking about sowing truth and sowing peace. And um, there's an interesting uh, construction that takes place, uh, linguistic construction that takes place in that passage that I think it's important for us to know about. And it helps to illuminate some of the things that are going on in the Bible. Um, if you look at it, as you read uh, Zechariah 8, verses 9 through 19, um, there are certain things that God explicitly says that he does, right? In, uh, in verse 10, God said that he set every man against his neighbor. God did this. God did this. God set every man against his neighbors. He makes a commitment in verse 11. Now I will not deal with the remnant of this people as in former days, declares the Lord of hosts. He's saying what he's not going to do, right? Um, but then he shifts into this odd way of speaking. He says, for there shall be a sowing of peace. The vine shall give its fruit and the ground shall give its produce and the heavens shall give their due. Um, it sounds, one way you could read that is that this is not something that God is doing, but it's something that will just happen and he's predicting it. Um, but that is not what's happening there. The next thing he says is, and I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these things. So he says these things are going to happen. And then he says he's going to cause his people to possess these things. Does that mean that these things are just going to happen and God's going to give them custody over it? Or is God actually causing all of these things to happen? The construction that's used there is, if it were Greek, it would be called the divine passive. It's a, it's what's, uh, it's, it's a, a a theological term for what happens oftentimes in Greek, but it also happens in Hebrew. And here in Hebrew, God is saying these things shall happen, but he's not just predicting them. He is ensuring that they're going to happen. God is, is, um, is, he is, uh, it, it is tantamount to a command. It is tantamount to uh, a, a decree from God. He is saying, this shall happen. Um, you know, let, let there be light. Let there be, uh, let there be uh, stars in the heavens. Let there be water. Let there be land. 
these things are, are in some senses passively constructed, but they are, are definitely commands. This construction here in Zechariah is even more passive, but it's still a command. It's still something that God ensures is going to happen. God isn't just predicting the future here. God is saying what he is going to cause to take place. There shall be a sowing of peace. The vine shall give its fruit and the ground shall give its produce and the heavens shall give their due. On Sunday, I made a big deal out of there shall be a sowing of peace that God actually does the sowing. But then he calls us to also sow peace. And we'll talk about that on Friday. But um, the way that in, in that case, the way that God causes peace to be sown is by commanding us to sow it. Um, here, God is saying that, that he there are certain things that he is actively going to do. Uh, he says, I, here's what I did set to every man against me. I will not deal with them in the former days. But he says, so will I save you in verse 13. God is going to save us, uh, save his people. So um, that is what God will do. But even the passives, even the passives are things that God is undertaking. Um, even when it says it shall happen, God is the one who's behind it. God is causing it to happen. Um, it is God's will, God's decree, and God's, you know, God's doing. Uh, now, when we look at our lives, uh, you know, it's really easy for us to, to ask the question. We have to ask the question so many times. You know, is God behind this? If, if something good happens, if something bad happens, is this the will of God? Um, the key question is, are, are we in God's hands? And... What the divine passives teach us is that ultimately we are, that uh, that nothing happens to us that God does not know about, that God does not permit, uh, that God does not use for our good. Um, it is all in God's hands. Good or ill happens according to God's God's plan and God's uh, God's uh, will. And so we, we are in God's hands. Now, I believe that, that there is a human component to these things, but, but the human component doesn't cast God's sovereignty into doubt. Um, God says these things will happen. They will happen and they will. Um, hey, that's, uh, that's comforting to me to know that nothing that happens to me is outside of God's hands. I hope it's comforting to you. As I'm recording this, uh, William Shatner is about to launch off into space, and I would like to watch that. <laughs> so I'm going to cut this, uh, I'm going to end it there, but I think that's what I wanted to say. Uh, so let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for your love for us. Lord, I, I thank you that nothing happens to us that is outside of your hands. God, I thank you that even in the divine passive, you are active. Lord, I pray for Marcy Kalarik. I pray for Christy Russell, Rich McGill, Chelsea Kalarik, and Andy and Lynn Miller. Please bless them all on their special days. May they know that they are loved by you, by your people. Uh, and may they be surrounded by the love of their family and friends. May they have a great, great day. I pray for the Ladies' Evening Bible Study tonight. I pray for the Genesis Bible Study tonight. May those studies be a wonderful times of engaging you in your word. I lift up New Beginnings Church. Please bless us as your congregation. And selfishly, Lord, I pray for William Shatner as he's preparing to launch off into space. I pray that you keep him safe, bring him back to earth safely. Uh, in your will and your plan, Lord, please uh, take care of him. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thanks for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I love you, New Beginnings, and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.